Hey kids, welcome to lesson six, user input and strings, part 10. Why are you yelling at me? To uppercase and to lowercase. The main functionality of the Mad Libs app is complete, but there are some finishing touches we can add. The user might type in random letter capitalizations, but the Mad Lib output string could be consistently capitalized. I like that. So we have to do this. Pick one or more pieces of the user's input text to transform into yelling or emphasize by making it uppercase before displaying it. For the other piece of the user's input, make it lowercase before displaying it. Hmm. So it looks like it wants us to go uppercase and lowercase on this. And this is pretty good. Honestly, one of the best uses of uppercase is making sure we know it's being inputted. It jumps out to us, it's easy identifiable, and it is just all around very helpful in coding. Well, where are we gonna do that at? I think we're gonna do that under our variables. And it's pretty easy how we do it. We are just going to take p noun, and that's going to equal now p noun dot to uppercase. Let's go ahead and test this out before we get too far. I'm just going to add something all in lowercase, but when I hit next now, see how it is all in uppercase. This string right here will ensure that the user's text always comes out uppercase. Let's go ahead and add these for the rest of them. So noun one is going to equal noun one dot to uppercase, semicolon. We'll do this for our noun two is going to be equal to noun two, period to uppercase. Three down, two more to go. Song equal song, period to uppercase. And the same thing down here, song equals song to uppercase. This should output anything the user puts in to uppercase. We can test this also. Let's try just doing a console.log statement here. And we want our p noun, but let's make that to lowercase, so it comes out all lowercase. When I put something in here, I should get it all in uppercase here, but I should also get it in my debug as lowercase. Let's give it a try. So I'm gonna do test here, test here, and we're just really doing P noun, so that's the only one that's gonna come up. Let's hit next. We see down in our debug console, it is in lowercase. So uppercase and lowercase. So we have that done for one. Now we just got to do it for a couple more. I'm just going to keep my debug console. Console.log. This is going to be my noun one. And this is going to be to lowercase. And our semicolon. This one we can just copy and paste in because it's just noun two. So we can just change that part. Our third one here is song. So we're going to do song to lowercase. And our final one, verb. Let's add some words in here. Let's say first plural noun, let's put throws, a first noun, handle, second one, a wheel, a song, Stella by Starlight. I actually had the song in the video wrong yesterday and verb eating. When I hit next, I should get an output displayed in my text box and my debug console. Let's go ahead and hit it next. 
And here you go. You can see that my um, inputs came up in all capitalization. My verb, though, did not. So let's go down here and take a look at our verb. So we have a little error here, too. Oh, that's why we did it. We have to have verb there. And this should be verb. So again, just something super simple we forgot to do. Changing names, we were copying and pasting. Uh, gave us a little of a headache there. Let's go ahead and reset and run this one more time just to make sure it runs. So let's do another one, plural noun. Let's go with the Cleveland Browns again, another noun. Let's go with Pittsburgh, another noun. Let's go with wheel, a song. Let's go with one of my my one of my other favorite songs, the Sim City 3000 soundtrack. And a verb, let's do relaxing. Let's hope these all come up in uppercase here and lowercase down there. Let's hit next. Pittsburgh Will, SimCity 3000 soundtrack and relaxing. Up here, we have Browns, Pittsburgh, Will, and everything down there. Looks pretty good to me. We did pick two spots to put uppercase and lowercase, and we learned a little bit about that. I don't think there's anything more code.org wants. Let's go ahead and hit finish and see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. We're on to our last part. Hope you're having as much fun as I am.